In this video, I'm going to show you how to build hyper-targeted LinkedIn ads using LinkedIn Sales Navigator. Let's dive right in. Okay, so the first step to build your super-targeted LinkedIn ads is to search for accounts with Sales Navigator. So you are going to make a list of the accounts you want to target and like select, you know, headcount, location, industry. You can even filter on companies that are hiring, for example. The next step is to extract the search with Everboot to get it into a CSV. So I just need to name a search here. So accounts for LinkedIn ads, for example, and launch the search. And a few minutes after that, I will get all these accounts and all this account information. So uh, LinkedIn URL, uh, company name, number of employees, etc., into a CSV file. This step is mandatory because we need to upload this file to LinkedIn ads. So once your extraction is finished, you can download your file here and you're going to see that you have all these data like company name, company website, company industry, etc. And the most important for the LinkedIn ads upload is obviously the company LinkedIn URL. So once you have this file, the next step is to uh, go to LinkedIn ads and upload it. So yeah, I can go on work advertise and then here select a LinkedIn account. Then I click on create and campaign. Here I can click on next and select an objective for my campaign. So most of you will select lead generation and then I need to scroll down a little bit and here is where I will upload my account list. So here I can click on audience, list upload, company list, and then upload the list. And here, if I click on select list, I will be able to upload my account list. But we need to do an extra step before that because LinkedIn is expecting a specific template for the upload. So for the companies, you can download it here. And basically we'll need to rename the headers so they match with what LinkedIn is expecting here. So for that, we are going to take the Everboot file, upload it into Google Sheet and modify some headers and delete some columns. Okay, so I am on Google Sheet right now. Uh, what I'm going to do is import the file I've just extracted with Everboot. So for that, I click on File, Import, Upload, and then here, look for the file. So here is Accounts for LinkedIn Ads. And then here, click to append to current sheet. Then I will like delete this column so it's clearer. And here we are going to keep uh, four columns. So the company name, the company website, the industry, and the LinkedIn URL of the company page. So you can delete all the other columns here. And then I will rename the headers as expected in the file. So company name, company website, LinkedIn company page URL and industry. So here you can see that I have renamed the headers with the right names expected by LinkedIn. So now I will download the file. So here I click on file, download and CSV here and then the file will appear here and then I go to I go back to LinkedIn ads I name my file so here you know I can list upload for tutorial and select the list and here I can select my file so here it's LinkedIn ads upload you can see that LinkedIn has accepted the file processing is complete and then I can click on agree and upload. So after that, you will be able to see that uh, your file is appearing here. So you just need to tick the checkbox here and you are done with the account part of the LinkedIn ads targeting. So the next part is about targeting leads, decision makers inside these accounts. So for that, you can click on narrow, audience attribute, job experience, and job titles. 
And here, and this is the really exciting things, you are going to be able to like target all, all the head of sales, for example, in your account list. So here, I tell LinkedIn that I want people in this company lists with head of sales as their job title. And you can select, you know, as many job title as you want. One thing to know is that, for example, head of sales will not only target head of sales that strictly people that have strictly head of sales as title, it will also target people that have uh, job titles like sales manager, director of sales, chief of sales, etc. So job titles that are really close to head of sales. The other important thing to know is that you can't target job titles that are not uh, suggested by LinkedIn. So here you can see that, for example, if I want to target precisely chief of sales, uh, LinkedIn's only offer me head of sales. So this is um, a simple example, but if you can't find the job titles you want in the job title suggested by LinkedIn, you will need to add an extra step and also upload the list of decision makers you want to target. For that, there is two steps. So first, you need to go back on Sales Navigator and create an account list with the result of your account search. So here, I got um, 78 results and I need to create an account list with all these accounts. So I click on Select All, Save to List, and Plus. And here, I will name it like Account List, you know, for LinkedIn ads. And then I will need to do this for every page. This is a little bit painful, but you don't have the choice. You need to go on every page. Here, we only got four page, so you know, that's cool. But if you got more page, this is a little bit painful, honestly, but you, you got no choice. <laughs> so, so yeah, you need to do that. Once your account list um, is ready, you go back on the lead filter, and then you go to let me delete that. You go to workflow, account lists, and you select the account list you've just built. And on the right, you will see all the people that work in the companies in your account list. And then you can, you know, write the job title you want. Here, I will write head of sales to, to keep it simple. But basically, if you can find the job title you want here, you can find your job title you want here. And then LinkedIn will give you the, the people matching this job title. Um, next step is to extract again this list we, with Airboot and we're going to repeat the process but for um, a contact upload and not a, an account upload. So here's contact upload for LinkedIn ads. And then same thing, we are going to download the file uh, match it with the template expected by LinkedIn and upload it into LinkedIn ads. While Everboot is extracting data, you can go back on LinkedIn ads, click on narrow, audience, list upload, contact lists, and then upload the list. And there you will be able to see that the, the LinkedIn template for, for LinkedIn ads uh, is a little bit different and is less precise. So, so basically you need the email of the personal account of the person to be really precise. So you won't add this data uh, because it's difficult to add the, the, you know, the personal email, except if you are on first degree connection with these people, but if you are second and third degree, you will also find the email in 5% of the case. So the data you will be able to provide here is first name, last name, job title, um, company and country. And then with these data points here, LinkedIn will try to find uh, the right contacts um, on this database. But, but honestly, it's a little less reliable than the account upload because the account upload lets you upload uh, the LinkedIn URL of the company page. So this is a really, really precise data. You say, you tell LinkedIn that, okay, I want to target this company exactly. And you are not able to do that with the, with the contacts because you, LinkedIn won't let you upload the LinkedIn URL, the profile. That would be amazing, honestly, to upload the LinkedIn URL of the profiles because you'll be able to target exactly who you want, but you can do that. So you need to you need to do the job with only this, this data. Here on Google Sheet, I've basically done the same thing that I did for the account, is to like take the Everboot file, upload it into Google Sheet, deleting the 
unnecessary columns and renaming the headers here. And then again, file, download, CSV. Then we go back here. We say like, okay, leads, upload, you know. Yeah, contact, upload here, agree and upload. And then you'll be able to select here. And here you are telling LinkedIn that I want to target people in these companies and I want to target people in this contact list. So first you got the first level, you know, of uh, targeting that is company. And then you got the second layer, a second layer of targeting, which is the, the contact list you provide to LinkedIn. At this point, you may wonder why can I upload the list directly? Well, it's simply because you increase your chances to show your ads to the wrong people. By adding the accounts first, you are restricting the area where LinkedIn will search for people. And this clearly reduces the risk to target the wrong ones. LinkedIn ads are quite expensive compared to other platforms, so this is the best way to make the most out of the money you spend. If you want to combine LinkedIn ads and LinkedIn prospecting, here is what your file should look like. So I will quickly show you how to organize if you want to combine prospecting and LinkedIn ads. So let's say I want to target here um, this search with head of sales. So I extract it to have a boot here. I've already done it, you know, so I got all my head of sales here. I'm going to download the file and upload it into Google Sheet as well. And then I'm going to create, you know, different sheets for every action. So here will be my lead list uh, to import on whatever uh, outreach tool I'm using. And here will be two sheets with the file prepared for account upload and lead upload uh, to LinkedIn ads. So basically here I will have my regular file extracted with Airboot with you know, first name, last name, prop site position, um, number of connections, so all the data extracted by Airboot. So you got a lot, a lot of things. And then on the two other sheets, I got my uploads, you know, for accounts and for leads uh, already ready for LinkedIn ads. So here I got all the information I need, you know, to first here with this file, uh, launch my prospecting campaign. And after that, upload my account list and my lead list on LinkedIn ads to also run ads on the same people I'm prospecting. If you want more tutorials about LinkedIn lead generation, make sure to subscribe to the Everboot YouTube channel right now. Just click on the subscribe button below the video. And if you want more details about all I have said, you can check the blog post. I put the link in the first comment. And of course, if you have some question, you can ask them in the comment as well. I read and reply to every comment. If you want to learn even more about LinkedIn lead generation, my advice is to check this video here about LinkedIn account based marketing or this video here about how to use LinkedIn sales navigator to generate leads. It will be really easier to apply the advice I've just gave you here. If you master these two skills here, I wish you a great day and I see you in the next one. Bye bye guys.